the FCC laid out their first fine to a company yes. three months ago for space debris. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yes, one hundred fifty thousand bucks. Which is small compared to the uh, what I was reading the revenue that that satellite gave the company. But regardless, yeah. that's a big step for the FCC to do right. that um, in the first well, place. I, so. Yeah, I don't know everything, but SpaceX put up satellites and had to bring them back down. I don't yeah. know how many there were, okay, but they yep. brought them up, had to bring them back down. I I don't know what caused the problem, okay? We can all guess, but no, that's yeah. just a guess. So I don't know. Yep. A lot of the government and other entities that are going to use these satellites want them to be able to effectively dodge mm. or be able to maneuver. Dodge is a bad word. Maneuver out of the way of space debris. Yeah. Well, if you put more solid fuel, it's more heavy, so it costs you more to get it up into the air. You know, that cost can range anywhere for low low orbit, you know, fifteen to forty thousand dollars a kilogram. Yeah. If you want to go up to higher orbits, it's six digits a kilogram. You want to put it to the moon, it's six digits to seven digits a kilogram. Not so, to mention the time delay on how long it's going to take to actually get up there and uh, strap on a ride. Correct. Yeah. So you have all these issues. So ours is flexible. It's lighter. We can roll it up. We can do a lot of things to help mm. facilitate that and lower costs. So I think that's more of the potential growth growth engine that we had. Yeah. And so yeah. the yeah. other thing it does give you is – you don't have to put as much propulsion so it's lighter there and you can use right. there's been a lot of advances in electric propulsion